morning floss tube it's Lisa here from the Shady Tree Stitches and I'm bringing you part three of my very special sort my stash episodes today's stash is brought to you by the mad collecting I have done in the last 18 to 24 months since I haven't had access to my other stash some of this is stuff I had before then that managed to not be packed away in the storage shed but um, other of it is stuff that I've collected, so um, things I've won, things I've bought, things I've been gifted by Stitchy Kindness, and there is a lot. So I thought today, before I get to the rest of the stash that's still in the shed, I would go through and show you all the things that I've acquired over the last year, and hopefully get some clarity on if there's any of these I need to start before 2021. So sit back, grab your tea, your coffee, um, and enjoy watching all this beautiful enabling stash come before your eyes. All right, it's in no order whatsoever. So I'm just gonna pick them up and show you. All right, first one, we have a Mirabilia. And this is Andromeda by Nora Corbett. Now I've acquired quite a lot of Mirabilias and Nora Corbett's over the last year. And I'm not sure what I think of Andromeda. So I'll put in her in the maybe pile. This is a kit I was gifted by someone a long time ago. It's a house in Fremantle in Western Australia. It's a full kit on linen, beautiful little house, George, George Street Mews. Um, so it's, it's really cute. But I don't know, I'll put it in the maybe pile too. This one is a lavender and lace fairy dreams and I acquired this quite a while ago. It is a full kit, all the chronic and everything. So I feel like it can't go to waste. Okay, gold collection, Dimension Gold, the golden era. Again, a full kit. Gorgeous. I love all that historical stuff. It's definitely going to have to get done, but not for next year. <laughs> oh, yes. I won this one in the, um, in the giveaways. It's a sampler on friendship. Quite cute. I really like that. Put that in the maybe pile. Maybe next year. And I said I had a whole bunch of Hummels, so we've got the violin. Some of these may have come out of that other stash, I'm not sure. They probably did. Wash day. Brother's lesson. And a little sweeper. It's super cute. Seasons, Meadow Wild House. I might have to think about doing that one. Oh, this one. I, lots of the guys have been starting this. I didn't even realize I had it. I think they've been looking for it. Silver Moon Tea by Nora Corbett. It's not something I would stitch. I don't drink tea. So I'll see you. There's someone else who, who wants that one. We've got a um, <laughs> medieval Santa. Hmm, this might be worth starting. Country Cottage Surfside Santa, Surfside um, Cottage. I might keep that out to start because I don't have anything beachy planned for next year. And then we've got the Song of the Season sampler. I've got two parts of it, but I think the part I'm missing is one of the houses. I'm not sure. So yeah, I've got part one and part three. So I need to find part two of that. But not, not just now. We've got a country cottage tea room. So cute. Many houses, 
So I'm not the only one who likes houses. We've got um, Country Cottage Let Us Adore Him. Super cute. Got Little House Needleworks Colonial Houses. Little House Colonial Welcome. Little House Sampler Stitches. I <laughs> really like that one. Maybe we've got needle and thread. Very cute. I like all these, that's why I bought them. Little House Peace and Plenty. We've got a little boxer. Come let us adore him. Christ the Lord. It's one of my favourite parts from a carol. I might keep that out, that's a nice small. We have Little House Pear Tree Inn. And then we have this Blue Jeans and Daisies. It's three parts of a sampler. And it's got, um, it's really cute. Look at that. So many cute things to do. Oh, this is staying up. Ink circles, base and treble clef. Need to do them. Need to do them. And this one I need to do. For unto you is born this day, the city of David, a saviour, which is Christ the Lord. It's a nativity. So I'm going to put that on the I need to get onto it stash. Um, and we've got, oh, we've got the house on Blueberry Hill is the Americana Farm series. Super cute, look at those quilts. Super, super cute. Pop in there for now. This is the keep box. This is just the not for next year box. And Marty Bell's Rocky Mountain Christmas. Look at that. All that snow. So cute. Um, <laughs> Christmas patches. Santa and he's got all these different little ornaments that you can do. They are so cute. So very, very cute. Ah, ink circles. Bloomers. Random. I think I'll show you these. Random Christmas ornament smalls. They're very cute. They come with the frame and everything. I feel like I should make them for my kids' Christmas. And then, oh, I'll show you this already. My Meal Health collection. We have a little gingerbread badge, a little wreath. Sapphire snow ornament, winter holiday wreath, a garnet spiral ornament, and a little O. So, they're not going anywhere in particular. It's like, it's like Christmas. Oh my goodness, okay. This is not anything to do with anything. It's an old whip. I mean, it's an old finish. It's a beautiful old finish that I did. I need to get that up on the wall. That is gorgeous, the topiaries. So I stitched that in 2003. It's now 2020. Really, really gorgeous. I'm very proud of that one. Not so proud of the back, but the front looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna have to get that, put that in a frame or something. So it needs, it needs to be on display. It's a need. What have we got in this little bag? Oh, it's a. Uh, it's 2018 fragment in time. Somehow how stitch works, and it looks like I've got it all kitted up, ready to go.
That's handy. Okay, another little bag here. A whole bunch of things. All right, we've got these really, really cute uh, JBW Gentle Words. Sweet nothings. Ah, we've got the ABC Sampler from Little House Needleworks. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And I think since I'm bound to finish Farmhouse Christmas, I might put them in the pile to maybe get started this year. Now we've got a couple more of these cute little sweet nothings. We've got our daughter. No, they're hard to see. Bridal wreath. And dear friend. Really cute little smalls. And another, oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Got these from the Aspire shop, the sewing. Um, one. I love this one. Friendship. Can't really see the colours. We've got a little shepherd's bush one. Just a tiny little sampler. We've got a happy day. And another shepherd's bush. Which has got a whole bunch of fruit on it. Cuteness. My grandmother's garden. So I definitely have two hobbies. I have collecting and stitching, but at least you know I do get the stitching done. This is morning berries. The dew upon the berry reflects the morning sun. It glistens like a diamond until the rabbits come. Very cute. Another shepherd's bush. This one's a cherry, cherry or cheery heart? Cherry heart. And this one's unusual. It's not actually Stitched. It must be a really old little house called Patience. Look, it's just got a computer generated. A man's wisdom gives him patience. Tiny little one. Rose sampler from Little House Needleworks. And then we go to um, some Blackbird designs. We've got my Valentine. We've got remember me and then we've got a bittersweet moon and a um a just nan hey zeb i got a just nan cuteness it's called strawberry summer zeb from new zealand loves just nan And then I have Remember Me and Anniversaries of the Heart, Elizabeth Jane. We've got Clara Ellen. We've got, I need to get one blackbird to do. Then we've got my little series of angels. So two types of angels. I was collecting the Marbeck angels. So we've got the Windermere angel stunning pink cloak. We've got Victorian embroider. We've got Christmas and Star Angel. Coventry Angel. Arcadian Angel. Love the blue in that. Florentine Angel. The Angel's Prayer. Snow Angel, Renaissance Angel, the Medieval Embroiderer, and then the Barbara Bart's ones, we've got the Native American Angel, the Celtic Angel. Now I am really, really, really keen to find the Japanese Angel. It's this one. 
So if anyone has that one and would like to find a new home for it, I would love to add that to my collection. All right, we have a kit. This is called Hunter House. We've got Marty Bell's Tuck Box Tea Room Kit. And Danico Terrace House. I told you it was gonna be a long video. This is only my first stash. Oh, I loved paper dolls growing up. So here's some paper dolls. More angels, we've got the Nordic angel. We've got the angel of peace. Ooh, we've got the Egyptian angel. I often get asked to do something Egyptian. But I've got my South American one on the go and she's wet, not done in enough. Angel of romance. Angel of Harvest, the Italian Renaissance Embroider, we've got six magical designs of fairies by Barbara Bartz, can I find the other ones, look at that, like Christmas toy fairy, isn't she gorgeous? And this one, I like her a lot too. And this one, I like them all. So other people do mirabilia a lot. I've got all these fairies to do. All right, we have 50 Santas to cross stitch. Many, many different types of Santas. Hmm, I might keep that out. Might be good for doing a small. We have got little things count day after day. Welcome to our neighborhood. And a whole bunch of other little patterns like chickens, flowers. In reality, I probably aren't going to stitch any of them, so I might put them in the giveaway pile. Australian Outback Series, Settlers Farmhouse, and there's an extended design as well. Shepherd's Bush, four dollars, no, not four dollars, English Garden, and it was apparently four dollars back in the day. Nice. We've got another Just Nan. Ooh, I like this one. This one's called Noah's Needle. We've got JBW's Heart Song. And Cricket Collection Alphabet. Which when I have grandkids, I might care about again. I'm not doing anything else for my kids. This one is gorgeous. This is a long mem memory lane. It's two like house rows. The winter one and a fishing one. By the looks of it. Um, <laughs> we've got a, one of my sassy designs called Winter Fox. He's super cute. Probably not as likely to stitch him, but um, we've got hands to work. A whistling girl. I'm likely to do that one, I don't think. And oh, Prairie Schooler, Spring Cottage. It's cute. Alright, we have got sweet scriptures. I'm getting this from the um, winning it from Shell. Oh, and this one definitely. Lizzie Kate Tiny Tidings. They're really cute little smalls. We've got 
cross stitch treasures. The reason why is these houses. I seriously don't think I need to buy anything ever again. Become all you faithful. Counted illuminations. I like this because it's got the hard angle wing windows. And I've got a prairie schooler. Santa rides. Um, you make your own home Santa by Jeanette Stone. So. Probably won't do that one. I've got oh, so many choices. Oh, there's the other ones of the, um, the Debbie Mums, the Four Seasons, Oak Hill House and the Pine Hill House. I've got a couple of freebies. That's my pattern for my mirror, Billy. All right, here we are. We've got some mirrors here. We've got the August Peridot Fairy. She's very glamorous. We've got Red Winter Gift. We've got the Petal Fairy. We've got Eva. Now I want to do one of the witches. I'm not sure which one. So I'm going to put her aside. I've got... Um, Portrait of Veronica. And then Tom the Gardens. Strawberries. I've got enough of these on the go at the moment. The Harvest. Voice of the Shepherd. Feathers and Friends from Butnut Road. I love this one. Oh, Christmas tree. Right side, the small side and the big side in this box. The reason I'm going through all this is I've got to clear out the room. Okay, we have County Fair. The quilting. Um, the first angel of light. Baby garden. I've got the pattern without a picture. Angel of the Sea. A song of the people. Back to the Mirabilias. We've got the red tree. <laughs> this one's fallen off. This is. The red puppy. And I have got Vixen. And the other one is Four Seasons, Summer Hill House. Okay, then these ones are the giveaways, so I don't need to show you them. Not a giveaway as such, but I do have the silver dragonfly, which I'm not going to stitch. So she is for sale. If you make me an offer, you never know. You might actually get something out of it. Right, so that was one little pile. 24 minutes in. I have another pile and three more bags. Patterns you can't see. So we have got a gold collection, Twilight Bridge, full kit. Um, Eva Rosenstands, something Christmas. This is some um, Navarre Cottage. And then these are the ones you just saw, so I don't need to show you, but I'm very tempted to 
maybe start Scarlet House. And I showed you the other day because I only just got them. Got the um the Country Cottage Main Street series. But if I'm gonna do the ABCs, the Main Streets can wait here. Oh yeah, these. Oh. Okay. I remember Jeanette Douglas in the needles. I really like that. Put that in the maybe box. And this one is called Mystic Christmas. I've got it the whole sample pack. And then I've got That house and the teacher from Button Up Road, but there's no picture. Um, <laughs> I have a part in a fishbowl from the Reef Nemo. That can definitely go in the giveaways since I designed it. I've already stitched it. Um, the green terrace that Jen gave me. Got the virtue stamper from Little House. We have the Waxing Moons Easter House Trio and the Halloween House Trio. And then we have got the Chalkful to Saw Hippity Hop, the, the Mason Jars the Snowy the Christmas. The harvest and the boo. They're pretty cool to have as well. Um, these little ones that I got the other day, really simple ones that would be good for my daughter to do. And now we've got the Four Seasons book that I bought. Oh yes, that's right, this big cross stitches sampler. Okay, we have a bag. What's in the bag? There's a lot in the bag. We have got some little little Christmas card kit things. We have got a lavender one, and then we've got a couple more Christmas ornaments on plastic canvas, and we've got a home built. You can go into the boy pile. And these mugs are for the giveaway pile. I think a lot of this stuff's what stuff I rescued for the giveaway pile. I've got village scenes for the giveaway pile. Oh, I've got white willow stitching tribal owl. Isn't he gorgeous? He can stay. We've got <laughs> cute little angel. Um, the thread that binds. This is a lovely wedding sampler style one. The giveaway pile. We've got Little Red Riding Hood from the Prairie Schooler. Stay. Got a Barbara Mock Charming Cottage. Country flowers. They can go to the giveaway because I'm just not a floral. And we've got a juniper, Annie's house. Um, little things count. Giveaways. 
Um, the Snail Couple by Senya. Look at those bright colours. That'd be a great one for my daughter. And the Heirloom Collection by Bachilla, the butterflies. This was a gift to me from one of the Shady Two. It's Louise. And the kit of the Needle Workshop. So that was what was in the, the random box. So what else do we have? Well, we have my bag from the retreat. It has some very strange things in it. Just look at the patterns and things in here. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. I bought a lot of stuff at the retreat too, so some of this may be the stuff I want to do. Alright, we have got a cricket collection. House go back in the giveaway pile. I rescued it from the giveaway pile. We've got irresistible gifts to cross stitch. We have another little sweetheart tree. We have cozy cottages but I think they can go into the giveaway pile. I don't need everything. This one's called the schoolhouse sampler back in the giveaway pile <laughs> hey Gable thought you should use some lifting up I reckon that would fit you oh we have another little autumn boxer I'm doing an autumn boxer at the moment might keep that one handy um, cricket collection the old and the new and Two for tea. So they can go into the giveaway pile. Um, Papillion, oh, this one's nice. Papillion Creations, the Bard of Avon. Nice traditional blue work sample. Um, this is an Anchor Design Studio, simply black work, black work house. Ooh, drawn thread. Love and wisdom. Um, Holly and Ivy sampler by TW Design Works. Now, I know I will never stitch these all. Um, historical sampler company. company. It's like alphabet. We've got a Lizzie Kate Cricket uh, sampling Thanksgiving. Got really cute with that autumn one. Not that it's autumn when we are doing that. Okay, now these ones definitely up for grabs if anyone likes birds. We've got Scarlet Tanager from, Mir um, from Nora Corbett and the Chaffinch. They're up for grabs too. We have a Chinese embroiderer. We have got the Woodland Angel. Someone must have found me more of these ones. The Starlight Angel. And the Renaissance Angel. Did I already have a Renaissance Angel? She's so far down in her box, I don't remember. Um, and then we've got some Red Hat Stitcher patterns. So we've got three of those. These are so cute. Marching orders. The promise. And the reward. And they all come with the beads and the gems and things. Maybe I should do one of those. I like the reward best. I'll put that in the maybe pile. We've got All Dolled Up from Little House. We've got Michelle Bendy's Kerglaf, which I'm never going to stitch, so we can go in the giveaway pile. 
We've got. <laughs> oh, you know my this is them. Um, all right, I've got some. A Lindy Stitchers. This is cute. Totally lovable. It works by ABC Turkish Tile. And then we've got Oom from Fiddlesticks and What the Cluck. And Oh Dear and Whatever. So, keep those ones. And we've got my jam and the koala biscornu. It's gorgeous. I haven't made a, a biscornu, so I might think about him. This one I love. Gorgeous gum nuts. They are super cute. Might have to do them. Alright, then what else we got? I bought some. What else we've got? We've got a pretty little mermaid. And these are um, Fuzzy Fox designs for little Aussie parrots and the Easter Bilby. So they're very cute. Hiding in there. Pens. This is the small I got. I should keep him out and put him in a tree. Okay. Stuff in there that's not to do with patterns and things. Alright. Two bags to go, people. I need a drink. My washing machine says empty me. Gotta have to wait. I'm busy. The easiest I think I tip them out. Drop something. Oh my god, there's all sorts of crap in here. <laughs> Why is it so? Okay. Some very bizarre crap. Anyway, that's okay. Things I've taken stitching at different times, I'd say. Alright, we need pencils. And beads. Alright, this looks like my juniper collection. We have Old Rose, Annie's House, Ding Dong Dell. Get me not. Nell's place and Robin's nest. I need to add them to the other ones in the box. Okay, probably won't do these anymore, but I thought they were cute. Cricket collection, just plain friends. Aren't they cute, those dolls? We have got a kit of a, a Big Juniper Designs home sample. A full kit. We have got another one, a Dimensions Amish Farm. A Charles Wysocki kit. Not getting into that. We've got my Heirloom Christmas Sampler from Victoria Sampler Kit. And we've got my Silk Bougainvillea Sampler Kit from Victoria Sampler. We've got three little cute Christmas patterns. My Virgia tip. Ever heard of them? Um, we've got a pink cottage by Juniper. 
But um, I probably wouldn't ever stitch this one. It's a full kit. It's like a Danish kit. Oh, delay there. No idea. Pop him in the giveaway pile. We've got the Telegraph Court from Country Threads. Uh, we've got Cricut Collection yeah. Christmas We've got Brooks Books Dress Up um, Alice We've got a whole series of um, professionals that I probably would never stitch. Being honest, we've got Shepherd's Bush. Oh, like the summer trifles. Look at those ones. They're cute. And we've got the Fruitful Clusters Sampler. These ones I also got from um, the giveaway. A little Cedar Hill Christmas sampler. And a book of bookmarks. We've got Sand Us Window Ornaments. I think in 2022 I might do a Christmas ornament thing. All right, and we've got, this one's already kitted up, I might keep this one out. A couple of little Christmas tree ornaments. We've got Roma's Garden kit by Shepherd's Bush. We've got... Road to Bethlehem by Shepherd's Bush and the Millennium Sampler. Both kits from Shepherd's Bush. Alright, now this is a piece that's already in action. This is the Drawn Thread Sampler of Stitches and it's the alphabet. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And if you're paying attention, you'll notice that this one was out of order. <laughs> but I couldn't say my alphabet, not in order. So I have the whole alphabet to do. And then I also have got more of these little um, fragments in time. Including a cute house. Yeah, we've got those we can work on sometime. And then we've got Cricut Collection, the other seasons now. Probably should keep one of these out. Because I've already done, well, working on summer. We've got autumn, spring, and winter. So, question for you guys is, which one should I work on next? Should I work on spring, autumn, or winter? Spring, autumn, or winter so you let me know and I will work on one of those next year now I went through a little stat a while of, um, before I started stitching them by stockpiling little books, books characters because they're so cute and these are all threaded up ready to go so I have got the um, angel of love I've got the angel of hope 
and the angel. Oh, I know she looks like an angel of music to me. Pretty cute. So I've got those guys all kitted up, but I'm still working on the one I'm working on. So I don't think I'm gonna start again next year. Now we have a couple of things in here that are on the maybe list. These were gifts from a lovely lady. Got an itty bitty joyful home. And then, more excitingly, we have got Carson Manor. And we have got Silkwood Manor. I really like Silkwood Manor. And I feel like Silkwood Manor might need to get a go. So I'm going to put her in the maybe pile. And there's something else in here. There's a few other things in here. Um, she's so generous. Um, we've got Forget Me Not Sampler by Brenda Gervais. And I think that's what this is, yes. Okay, oh, and, oh yes, I was going to do this. We've got, we've got a whole bunch of these. These and buttons, stick the hole. And Christmas Village Queen Anne House. But I've still got two of them on the go from this year. A little blackbird sampler. And this one is a cross and patch and it's a a welcome sign. And I've got it all fabriced up ready to go with a hard hanger border. Okay, so that pretty much the magazine. I started to stitch something out of. One to go! Oh my god. Told you you needed your tea and coffee. Just let me unpack them. I don't have a breather. I'll unpack this bag. I can pack it back up. And then I can go and put them all where they're going for the year. Safely in a big tub. Oh, there's some goodies in here. There's some very good ones in here. Decisions, decisions. Right, this one my friend Joe is doing. Country Threads, the Pioneer. It's old fashioned Australian. It's gorgeous. It's full coverage. Love it. Not doing it next year. I bought myself some tablecloths to do. Something different. But not for next year. Now, we've got a couple of um, Olga Goslin's houses for the terrace. These are for kids. We've got a historical Queenslander. And the old metal roof house. I love Australian houses. have the Country Threads Outhouse Trio. That is cute. I'm very tempted. That would be so funny to stitch some outhouses. But not for next year. All right, we have got Kyore e Batikore Shabby Autumn Calendar. Very tempted. Very tempted. We have Jeanette Douglas. Once upon a time sampler with four trees. Let's bring some of our autumn winter trees. Tempted to do that one too. Honeysuckle Hill sampler by the Victoria sampler. 
We've got a gold collection of Valley of the River Beck. Full kit. We've got a really cute kit of cupcakes. And with all the beads and the everything, we have the the ginger three D gingerbread house. I've got the thread for that here too. So very very tempted to start that. And it's only white, so it'll be quite quick to stitch. So I think it's going to make it to the maybe pile. Alright, Main Street series, little house, sweet shop, I'm oh, sorry, train station, the sweet shop, and the schoolhouse. These are tiny, 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 tiny. Alright, this one's going to go in the giveaway because I'm never going to stitch it. It's a cute full kit, the Edmonds, or it's like for your family. Really cute. I'm just, I know I'm going to get to that one. Now uh, these ones are for my daughter to do if she ever decides to start stitching. Forever Friends, we've got Little Cheerleader, Floral Bouquet, and then I've got one of those books, books that I was talking to you about. This is Gretel. We've got Jim Shaw's Percy Pig, and Going to the giveaway, full kit, a little beach hut. We've got Sweet Dreams from Garden Up Road. Um, this is not really much use to me because I've only got the one pattern. So, oh, here they are. Been wondering where these are. Okay, we have Winter House Trio. <coughs> so much dust. Christmas House Trio from Waxy Moon Designs. We've got more Christmas ornaments. Yeah, well, I think I need to do a year of Christmas ornaments. And here's the rest of those Brooks books I've been talking to you about. Okay, are you ready for Brooks books? We have got... <coughs> Excuse me. Spirit, a Christmas present. Spirit, a Christmas future. Spirit, a Christmas past. Joy. Peace. Spirit of holiday baking with the beads. Spirit of Christmas stitching with the beads. And the paper. Um, spirit of quilting angel beads, the angel of cross stitch with the beads, the spirit of giving angel with the beads, the spirit of knitting angel, the spirit of cross stitch angel ornament, the spirit of crochet, and some random one, the spirit of evergreen. All those beautiful Brooks books with all their backstitch and their multicolours. Not starting any more of them till I finish the ones I'm doing. Got a little small gift. See the pocket? Keep that out to make for smalls. We've got the Jim Shaw's sheep and Mill Hill potting table. Nearly there, people. Nearly there. Okay, random threads, I do not know what for. That's a bit of a worry. And we have got a mitten stitch and go that says teacher, which I will never stitch, so I'll put that in the giveaway pile. All right, people, that is it. That is stash collection video number three. Hope you enjoyed it, and you can look forward to some of those giveaway ones at either in my um, giveaways or at a retreat table.
Thank you for watching. Really appreciate having um, my regulars coming back. And if you're new and you lasted this long, well done. Hopefully there's something in there you liked and you go, oh, I need to go and get that. Support your local LNS. They need all our help at the moment in this, these troubling times. And until I next see you, happy stitching. Bye.